I rise in opposition to this conference report. Um, and this is uh, after supporting the Senate version of the K-12 budget as it came out of the Senate. Um, that budget featured a uh, $75 floor for the foundation allowance. Now that floor has dropped down to $50. Um, in that original version, we had a performance, we didn't have a performance grant, that was rolled into the budget in, in keeping with the, uh, um, uh, the proposal that was put together by a lot of our super, uh, superintendents called Classroom and Kids proposal. Um, now that's been beefed up and put up into $51 million, as the uh, um, previous speaker mentioned. Also, there is no such thing as an equity line item um, in the previous budget. That was at zero dollars. Matter of fact, that was at zero dollars in the House version. That was at zero dollars in the executive recommendation. And that was zero dollars in the Senate version that passed out. And somehow in the conference report, it popped up to $103 million. Um, that equity line item, instead of using the normal 1x, 2x formula for school districts to gradually get to that equity that was uh, championed by um, previous speaker, essentially puts that equity slope or puts that, uh, that ultimate equity on, a, on steroids now and essentially instead of a 1x, 2x formula where all school districts were guaranteed some sort of a bump, it essentially holds uh, many of our school districts at essentially a zero dollar increase and um, the rest of the districts get three times that amount. That's not fair especially when many of the districts that are being harmed by this are not benefiting from the increased funds are the ones that are donor districts in the first place. They gather more taxes and they put more taxes in the school aid fund, such as my districts, and now they're being asked to pony up even uh, that, uh, that uh, pursuit of equity in a, in a much faster pa uh, pace than, was, uh, than would be done via the uh, normal 1x, 2x formula. And I, I can't stand for that and I'm, I'm very disappointed that the conference report, report took such a 180 degree turn from what was passed out on the Senate floor. And it's for that reason I'm opposing this uh, conference report.